Hey Nathan, it's Wednesday, February 25th. So this past Sunday we watched the annual Academy Awards. Coming into it, I was mostly indifferent. I figured it was just going to be your typical pre-ceremony red carpet, and I like Neil Patrick Harris, so I thought it would be just an enjoyable viewing of the Oscars. By the end of the night though, I was floored. I was so impressed with the progressiveness and maturity that Hollywood seems to be embracing, even if in baby steps. Now I know this can seem contradictory because the nominations this year were very whitewashed, and I don't really know how you get into the Academy or how frequently people are invited to join, but I do know that they are on average like 63 years old, mostly male and mostly white. So yeah, it's an area that still needs some progress, but hopefully over time they can become more diversified. I did notice though a different area that was openly trying to be more diversified, the pre-Oscars red carpet interviews. I'm not sure who started it, but a campaign on Twitter called hashtag AskHerMore became really popular this year and was promoted especially by Reese Witherspoon. Traditional Hollywood ceremonies like the Oscars are infamously superficial when it comes to interviewing female celebrities and guests. Many women have become fed up with being mostly or even solely asked who are you wearing when their male counterparts are being asked more diverse and unique questions. Now I'm definitely not trying to knock fashion or the designers or the publicity that they deserve for the gorgeous clothing that they create. I mean Lupita Nyong'o's pearl dress took like four months to make. They used 6,000 pearls. That's, like, that's amazing craftsmanship. Fashion is an interesting and beloved aspect of our culture, but I can see how it can get kind of dull when you're asked the same question over and over again, especially when that question doesn't really have anything to do with you as a person or your opinions or your experiences, so that's why I think that this movement is really great. And it was successful! I had never seen a more interesting red carpet. The women had some really cool things to say and the interviewers seemed to genuinely enjoy talking about a wide range of topics. The theme of diversified topics carried over into the acceptance speeches of the night. It seemed like every time someone went up to accept an Oscar, they also had an issue they wanted to talk about, which made sense since most of the movies that were nominated did touch on some important human issue. For example, the award for best adapted screenplay went to Graham Moore for his writing of The Imitation Game. This movie portrayed the importance of Alan Turing, who helped break a bunch of Nazi codes during World War II, amongst a lot of other achievements. Side note, Nathan, I think Alan Turing deserves a few videos from us. Unfortunately for Turing, he lived during a time when his sexuality was not only looked down upon, but was considered illegal, and this illegality was conjectured to be part of what drove him to commit suicide. Grimmore feels a connection with Turing and used his speech time to talk about the dangers of depression and suicide, professing publicly for the first time that he himself had attempted suicide as a teenager. He encouraged people to stay weird and to remind others that being weird is okay and I think that message is so important. Being weird is what makes us human. I mean, we could say don't forget to be awesome and weird. Julianne Moore brought up the issue of Alzheimer's, the disease that afflicted her character in Still Alice, and Eddie Redmayne, who played Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything, talked about the horrible disease ALS. Disease sucks. Patricia Arquette and Alejandro Gonzalez Iñárritu brought up controversial issues of equal pay rights for women and of immigration rights, respectively. Arquette made a good point in saying that all taxpayers and citizens of the U.S. were born via woman and that it's time that they are given equal pay rights. Iñárritu's speech gave me chills when he said that he hopes that the current generation of immigrants can be treated with the same respect as those immigrants who built our country. Country, which is a good reminder to us Americans that most of us are descended from immigrants. Even when our country was founded, those of European descent hadn't really been here too long. Nathan, humanity isn't perfect, even those people in Hollywood who are sometimes portrayed as being so. However, I prefer to look on the bright side when I can and stay hopeful that we are progressing in the right direction. Hearing those people speak of issues that I find important got me really excited Sunday night, and I hope that their messages were well heard by everyone else. We'll see you on Friday.